Welcome to Clockwork Contractor, the virtual toolbox for tradesmen. This is a brief demonstration guide to the light version of the app. When we log in, we can see our project statistics, where any project within your company will be sat in the relevant boxes. These auto update, as we will see shortly. Over here, we have our quotation fees and our pricing. Here you will see a list of the types of work you would be required to carry out as a contractor. If we take a look at our electrics, we can see itemised work listings and their relevant item costs. These wordings and costs are completely editable at any point. Now to form a quotation. Here we have looked at three jobs this week. So we go into our waiting quotes when we log in and we can see we have these quotes to do. For the purpose of the demonstration, we will be quoting for a new bathroom suite. Our client's details here that we took on our survey. And here we would put any uh, information we felt was relevant to, we may need to reference at any point. And we can share these references and notes internally with other members within your company or our client. So you would end up with a list of notes and conversations internally and with the client that you could reference at any point. Now for a new quotation. Enter our reference. Pull up our list of work types, bathrooms, and the first thing to do would be to remove existing bathroom suite and tiles and clear from site. We would then be required to carry out first fixes. In this instance, the sanitary well will be located in the same position as the existing. We would then be required to second fix the bathroom. We would then need to put some electrical work, down lighters, the client is requested, an extractor fan, a switch fuse spur and the light switch. Once our electrics are complete, we would be required to plaster the bathroom. Here we have two options. If we feel as though the walls would require some preparation work, new plasterboard, we would select this item. If we felt as though the bathroom would be in good enough condition to plaster the walls, we would select this item. Once plastering is carried out, we are then required to do some tiling. The client has said they will supply the tiles, we just need to fix them, which we would select this item here. We would then be required to fit some skirting board. The client has asked for 100ml MDF in this instance. That's all the items for the quote. And here we enter our quantities. Four down lighters, one extractor fan. We're only doing one bathroom, a second fix, remove. And here we have our cost built in to remove the bathroom suite and clear it from site. So a skip would be included within this cost. Again, at any point, you can edit this text. You can also edit the rate you're charging. We've measured up five meters of skirting for the bathroom and the client has requested eight square meters to be tiled. Now, the bottom left hand corner here, we can see a percentage mark where we would enter a contingency if we felt we needed to. The 15% in this instance would give us a contingency amount here. We save this. That is the quote saved. At any point any of these details can be edited. We now generate our quotation. We just re-enter our reference. Here we have some formatting options for our quotation. We can give as much information on the quote as we wish or as little by selecting the relevant boxes. Here we are going to include the quote for the bathroom. This section here if you have multiple quotes for a project, 
and you wanted to include them all within one, you would simply select the ones you want to include within a quotation and complete our quote. This brings us through to a preview page where we can just preview our quote before it goes out. It's automatically brought across the client details. Thank you for your interest in Clockwork Contractor. This is where your company details would be displayed. Again, this box here is completely editable, but you would only have to template it once and it would apply to all of your quotations. It's pulled across all the items we've selected and the quantities along with the relevant costs with our contingency marked up across the quote. Moving down the page, we are going to send the client an SMS text message notifying them that a quotation has been generated. If we felt as though the time we were working on this was a little bit late to send a text, we can select to send it at 11 a.m. the following day and we share that with our client. That is the quotation complete and sent. Now, the client receives the quotation through a portal which they securely log into through an email displayed here. This section here would be where your company logo would be along over here as well. As this is a demo, it's in the branding of Clockwork Contractor. Here would be some details about your company selling yourself. This box here would be completely editable and templated only once and would then apply to every client portal. Some more information. Now, a unique feature of this application is that from the sections we saw, when you, the application is handed over to you, you are free to upload images of your work to the relevant sections. So for kitchens, you would enter pictures of kitchens you've done, and for bathrooms, you would enter pictures of bathrooms you've done. That the app automatically pulls through those images and assigns them to the portal relevant to the work you are quoting for. This will assist your chance of being instructed on the job and is a great advertising tool. The client's quote is stored here. They go in to view their quote. They check it's everything they asked for. They're very impressed with the professionalism and they select instruct on a quote, which sends us an email to say the client is happy to proceed. Now, we've received the client's email wishing to proceed. We then select the instruction button. We then look at our diary and see when we could carry out the work. In this instance, we can carry out the work on the 10th of the 9th, 2019. This box here is completely editable, along with this one here. We then send the client an SMS to notify them. We store it internally, and we send them our next available start date for their project. Here you can see a constant message feed listing every, the information we've given the client and what they have responded. So at any point we can refer back to each project and the conversation thread. The client is happy with the project start date and we can see here now the information internally that we would be required to know. The quote totals, any additions to a project, any omissions and the current contract sum along with invoice details and available spend. It also tracks the VAT of the project and the duration of the job. So we've started the project, we're now at a point where we can invoice. Here you can see the listings of the quote of the items selected and also a sliding bar here that if partway through the project we wanted to send an invoice we can simply select the items we wish to invoice for. If we want to invoice for 100% of the amount, we select 100%. We may have only done part of the work, so we would just select the relevant percentage. In this instance, we are going to set it auto complete because we finished the job. If you're a subcontractor carrying out CIS registered work, here you would enter your labor costs. So the relevant percentage of CIS can be deducted 
for the instance of this quote invoice, we are not CIS registered. We will now generate our invoice. Again, it takes us to a preview page where we can preview our invoice from all the items from the quote and the relevant costs are pulled over along with the client details. We then simply repeat the process to send an SMS text message to alert the client an invoice has been repaired and we share that with our client. The client then receives the invoice within their client portal. A red navigation dot has been used to direct the client around the portal. Our client can now view their invoice along with their project personalized payment plan displayed here, what they've been quoted, any additions carried out, omissions and current contract sum along with payments we have received and they've made and what they have left to pay. So they're always informed at all times what is left to pay and what they have paid. This is auto updated as we mark our invoices payment received and their invoice is located here. We now log on to our bank and see we've received payment. We then mark that payment as payment received. If we haven't received payment within the terms of the agreement, we can mark it as payment overdue, which sends our client a payment reminder. In this instance, they've paid, the date they've paid, and we update our totals. So we can see straight away we've now collected that value of the invoice, the net amount, the VAT we've collected for internal company use and the client payments plan. has been updated. They have nothing left to pay. Now the client has just asked us if we would be happy to carry out some additional work for them that wasn't included within the original quotation classed as an extra. In this instance they require us to lay the flooring in the bathroom and we've told them that this is going to be 500 pounds and we now select confirmation that we require from our client before we carry out the works. We select the date and we want them to sign in person for this additional work before we carry it out. They print their name and sign for it electronically. This item uh, along with its uh, document is non-editable. So there's never a confusion at the end of a project whether a client has agreed to the additional work or not. We can then invoice for this work. The addition is complete and we can generate an invoice for that addition very quickly same way as we did previously. The client was happy with the job. It's completely organized, so there's no confusion. And they've made the payment for the additional work. And we update our project pots. Now, at the end of a project, we are required to pay our staff and material costs. So we owe Travis Perkins a thousand pounds for the materials they supplied. Let me add that. We also have to pay our staff. That can be itemized per staff member. Uh, 500 pounds labor payment let me add that so here for internal company use we can see we've collected 3541 pounds from this project 
We've spent 1500 which gives us a profit on this job of £2,041. Going back to our project statistics, we can currently see that that job now is moved over to jobs currently running. The advantage of having project statistics is that when you have multiple projects running at any one time, you have people contacting you for new quotes, you then need to amend some quotes, is it keeps it all in one place and you don't have to think about it and remember what stage each project is at. You simply log in and work on the relevant section you are required to do so. That was the light version of the application. For a full version demonstration, please contact us direct using the contact button on the website. Um, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.